today we will see some interesting examples on line graph look at the line graph shown what information is displayed in this graph the graph shows the months on the horizontal axis and the number of motorcycles sold on the vertical axis in this way the continuous line shows the number of motorcycles sold in different months of the year 2007 and the dotted line shows the number of motorcycles sold in the various months of the year 2008 the graph shown in this way compares the number of motorcycles sold in various months of the year 2007 and the year 2008 how many more motorcycles were sold in march 2008 as compared to march 2007 it is observed from the graph shown that 120 motorcycles were sold in march 2008 and 60 motorcycles were sold in march 2007 the difference between the two numbers is 120 minus 60 is equal to 60 so we can say that in march 2008 60 more motorcycles were sold than in march 2007 find the month from both years in which the number of motorcycles are sold equally in the graph the continuous line and the dotted line intersect at a point the intersection point is located in april month this tells us that in both years the number of motorcycles sold in the month of april is equal let's see the next example Ramesh planted a plant. At the end of each week, he found the length of the plant which was as follows. Consider scale as 1 unit is equal to 2 cm. Represent the given information in a line graph. A line graph represents data that changes continuously over time. Data is displayed by dots in the line graph. Now, let us draw a graph based on the information shown. Draw two mutually perpendicular lines on the paper. The horizontal line is the x-axis and vertical line is the y-axis. We will show the time in the week on the x-axis. Similarly, we will show the length of the plant on the y-axis by taking a scale of one unit is equal to two centimeter. As the maximum value here is eleven centimeter, we will end the length on the y-axis by a greater number. such as 12 cm now we will mark the data by point initially that is plant length is 0 in 0 position therefore we will mark the point at 0 similarly the length of plant in week 1 is 2 cm to denote this length we will mark the points at the intersection of the vertical line of week 1 and the horizontal line of 2 cm similarly The length of plant in week two is seven centimeter. To denote this length, we will mark the points at the intersection of the vertical line of week two and the horizontal line seven centimeter. Similarly, we will mark the point for all observations. Now we will connect all the points with line segments. We have shown an increase in plant length over time as a graph. Therefore. we can call it a graph of time growth today we have seen some interesting examples on line graph in the next video we will see some more examples examples examples